Hey guys, I hope you're all well. So today is the start of a new vlog and I'm going to try and keep these short and more weekly instead of just forgetting to film and then making them two weekly or three weekly. So today is the first day I am starting any sort of prep for final major project, FMP. So if I start calling it FMP, that's what it is. And I have quite a few things I want to be doing today. I've just filmed a video which was like a chatty catch up and like assumptions about me. And now I am just sat doing some little print designs um, and sort of doing them in a collage -y way. I'll probably do some paint ones later. But yeah, I have out my paper samples that I make. And then I've just started cutting out shapes ready to start making into like little roses and prints and everything. And then over here, I have just had on the little house on the prairie because I think this is what I'm going to base my project on. So yeah, that is the plan for today and then tomorrow I am off into London for like a research day. Oh, and also I had a few items arrive today that I'm very excited to share with you. One of them is this huge box of Candy Kitten sweets. So the lovely lady Sasha at Candy Kittens very kindly sent me this huge package. These ones are my favourite. Blueberry bliss. Blah, blah, blah. It's really hard to say. But yeah, I am fully stocked up. Ready to get through my final push of uni. <laughs> that kind of sounded like I'm giving birth to uni. So yeah, and then I also have two new bags from H&M, which sounds very OTT, but. So this is the first new thing from H&M, and it's this suede gray bag, and it's got a really nice thick strap at the top and this actually fits my laptop sideways so not standing up the other way around so it still clips together at the top and then it's got the nice strap and it's just such a nice bag so I think this is going to be my new go-to bag I need to find some like leather spray protector because that would be really sad if this just dies straight away. <laughs> and then the next one is also a bag from H&M, but this was super cheap. This is like £14, um, and it's this sort of dusky pink shopper tote bag. It's quite thin. It doesn't feel really expensive, but it looks really lovely, and it's such a gorgeous colour that I thought... I'm just gonna keep that. And then the final thing from H&M is this really big wool jumper. It's really hard to show, but it's it's grey, obviously. <laughs> and it's got these really nice sort of little details all over it. It's got a nice stripe down the middle. And I just really like how oversized it is. It has very like All Saints vibes. It's 95% wool and 5% cashmere, so a very sustainable little jumper. Wool jumpers are great because you don't need to wash them. If you if they get smelly, you just hang them outside and the natural air is meant to make them not smell. Sometimes they can be itchy, but um, if you wear like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath, like this one is mohair and it's so itchy if you don't wear anything underneath, but I've got like a little black long sleeve on underneath and I've been fine all day. Then next up is Free People and they had a sale on um, and they actually have a store in London now which I'm gonna go and look at tomorrow. <laughs> I was invited to like the preview launch of the shop and I was so annoyed I couldn't go. It was the night before my hand in so <laughs> could definitely not go. <laughs> but it prompted me to go online and have a look at their sale which was really naughty. Um, but I found this gorgeous gorgeous dress it's a maxi length dress and it's all sparkly and it's got like a slit down the middle I may try these on at some point and then it's got a little tie that goes around and it's just such a gorgeous dress not really weather appropriate for right now but it's one of those things I can see myself wearing to so many things in the summer and it's got like little hints of gold in the polka dots so I can like start up with loads of gold accessories i'm just so excited it's also cut so well that i do not have to wear a bra and when you don't have to wear a bra with a dress it's just the best thing ever then finally i have a pair of boots 
and oh my gosh i am obsessed <laughs> so these are my new boots aren't they just so cool they're like little cowboy boots like patent cowboy boots and then they have this big buckle thing at the back so these are in the sale for 60 pounds which for boots like this is amazing especially on free people because normally their boots are like 300 plus pounds and there's honestly just such a huge range of western boots on there that i could spend all my money and all my savings on them <laughs> but yeah i'm so excited to wear these they're gonna look so cute with dresses in the summer and also because they're black they're just so easy to style with like everything so i'm very very happy about those right now i need to get on with work because i've had like too many days out because i had a not so nice start to my final major project but it's okay i've been going through a breakup and these things aren't easy um just been trying to keep myself busy and sometimes that means buying more clothes <laughs> So it's Monday morning and, and I've just been to the gym with Amber and my cheeks are rosy red. So yeah, I've just been to the gym. It is, I don't know what time, it's probably about 10, half 10-ish. Um, and I'm going to get ready for my day. I've got to go into uni for two so I can do some work and then go in but I need to wash my hair really badly. So yeah, we will see where today takes us. It's such a beautiful day outside today which makes me feel so much better. I made myself a little lunch and it's the most disastrous omelette I ever made. It's not even an omelette, it's more scrambled egg. <laughs> and then I need to start my sketchbook, but I don't think I have time to do that before I go in. So I'm just gonna eat this, relax, see if I can do some print work maybe, and then go in. I feel so nice and chill after my morning of just taking time for myself and going to the gym, going to, having a nice long shower, washing my hair, drying my hair, doing my makeup for once. <laughs> So yeah, I feel good this morning. So I'm just leaving the printer to do its thing. But I'm trying to find my new sketchbook. It should be under my bed. Yeah. Found it. I'm just about to go into uni and this is my outfit for today. I have on this H&M jumper this skirt that was in the sale i am so not used to wearing skirts so we shall see how this goes and then i am wearing my free people boots and then i'm gonna wear my scarf and my big puffy jacket because it's cold the scarf was a little too much so i've just got on my black puffer jacket which i'm not sure if it really goes but it's black, so, and warm, and it will do. <laughs>
Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I picked up this camera and filmed anything. I've just kind of been in the worst headspace um, for starting Final Major Project, which has been so frustrating. And um, yeah, I've just not been feeling myself recently, um, so I didn't pick up the camera. I just literally physically couldn't pick up the camera and be myself because I just was so far away from myself. But yeah, I went home for the weekend and mum was talking to me about how I always said I wanted to document my third year and my work I'm doing and I was like, yeah, you know what, I do. So I'm going to carry on and film as much as I can. So it's currently 9am and I have uni at 10 today. The weather is gross. It's like all rainy. I have a 4,000 word essay I also need to write this weekend which is just fabulous. Who doesn't love an essay? They're not what I signed up for when I did fashion design at university. Yes, I just got changed, ready to go into uni. I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren jumper that I picked up on Depop the other day. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's that? <laughs> I've got like a button down t-shirt underneath. It's not a random third nipple. <laughs> and then I've got these cargo trousers on from Zara, which I feel like are now very creased. Oh. Yes. So yeah, this is my outfit for today. I actually feel put together for once. I've literally been in tracksuits, pajamas, anything but normal clothes. And if I do wear normal clothes, it's been the same old jeans. <laughs> so it feels nice to be wearing an actual bra today. And um, clothing. <laughs> I also cleared out my pin board the other day and put this up which has really cleared my mind. This is everything I have to do, like all the deadlines and all the days. So as you can see, I am like here on my calendar and that is my deadline for all my twirls, my eight twirled outfits and everything. <laughs> and then over here, I've been planning out the fabrics I'm going to use. So lots of checks. And then I'm also trying to develop my own little floral fabric, but this one is one of the ones that went wrong. I'm waiting for more samples to come back. Um, so yeah, I've carried on with the same theme. I'm just looking a bit more at like glitz and the rhinestone cowboy kind of vibe um, to add a bit of interest to it, like a little bit of sparkle. That's what I've been doing and I'm gonna take this and put it onto boards right now to show my tutor. She hasn't seen me in like a week and she told me to go and see her on Monday and I didn't, whoops. <laughs> And then I'm going to try and do some pattern cutting this morning before I go in as well. Or that will be a task for when I come back. I stayed up late last night pattern cutting. And so I've just got to cut it out in fabric this morning and make it for tomorrow. Honestly, this essay has just thrown me off so much. Like a 4,000 word essay. To people that have done essays at A level or anything, that's fine. But like I... I haven't done essays in a long time. <laughs> like if I could do a video essay, I'd be so much happy with that. Anyway, I'm gonna pop these fabrics on some boards to take in and then I'm gonna head off to uni. Little chin spots decided to break free of its concealer prison. We had a good session in uni, they were talking about the shows that we do at the end. And then I popped into MS on the way back because 
I'm just obsessed with M&S. And I'll show you what I got. So I picked myself up some flowers because flowers are my new obsession and they make me very happy. So that's what those ones are. And I thought four pounds wasn't bad for all that. And then I topped up on my recent obsession, which are these very naughty, but oh, come on, very naughty, but so good. So I just got two of the same of those. And then some mints was on offer. Um, and then I got some pancakes because I'm obsessed with pancakes. So flower wise, I've just had some tulips on the go. Recently I have, um, I bought two bunches and split them into a little one. And then over on my mess of a desk, I have some in here too. Um, but these ones were like a lot taller originally and then they got, they like flop loads if you ever had tulips. So I cut them really short and they just are sitting there right now. So I think I'm gonna add in the other flowers and just see how long these last and take them out when they're completely gone. like that I am back into my classic attire. I need to tie my hair up otherwise I just can't focus. Since I've last filmed I've also realised that my scrunchie collection is actually quite huge. Much better. dress this does not look how I want it to which is kind of okay because to be fair this is the first major hiccup I've had so far um, so I've just got all my abattoirs out and I'm kind of looking over what they look like now I'm just gonna do some designs and just 
kind of work out what my collection is going to look like because that because I've realised I've been spending so much time worrying about fabrics that now I actually don't know <laughs> what I'm designing anymore. So yeah, I put on Johnny English to try and make myself a bit happier, so we'll see how that goes. tutorial this morning so I'm just having some cereal and watching a bit of YouTube before I go in it's generally it's my morning ritual <laughs> so yeah I'm really tired and I just want to go to sleep again but it'll be fine it's Friday and then I'm doing sketchbook work for the rest of the day I think so yeah I'm gonna eat my breakfast get changed and then go in It's the weekend now and I'm in pyjamas, zero makeup and I am just writing my essay all day. So it's 4,000 word essay and I am on 2,000 words right now, which I'm very happy about. Um, and it's 9.30ish in the morning, so hopefully I'll have this done by Sunday. There's just lots of little bits I know I'm going to have to like edit at the end, like adding in pictures and quotes and all that stuff and referencing my eyes feel so heavy and last night I planned out my lineup um <clears throat> roughly sort of like we're meant to have a 12 outfit lineup but we only make six um so I've put up six on the wall I think I want as my lineup so that's kind of set my mind at rest a little bit and then I've got all my fabrics on my board again my flowers are looking nice so I'm in a good environment to be writing in right now. But, like I mentioned probably before, I don't like writing. <laughs> but yeah, I really respect people that like writing and that can write well. Um, I'm okay at writing, but it's just not my favourite thing. I made another risotto for lunch. <laughs> I'm just so obsessed with risotto at the moment. I've got asparagus, salmon and mushrooms in this one. And it's my favourite thing to make at the moment. I've just packed my bag and I'm going to go and work in the library for a bit. actually put clothes on today which I didn't think would happen but I'm just wearing double denim. Ah! <laughs> So I finished my essay yesterday, which I'm very excited about. Yes, the essay is done. Um, I'm just going to show one thing to my tutor and see if, what she thinks about it. Apart from that, it's done. And then I also managed to get a jacket pattern cut last night as well. So it's Monday now and I am halfway through making it. I'm just trying so hard to just push through and get as many things done as I possibly can. So hopefully I'll have this jacket made, well I will have this jacket made by tonight. But yeah really busy week this week. Um, it's literally just gonna be making 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 now that I've finished my essay. I'm just so relieved that I finished it. I have got a lecture to go into I have got a lecture to go in for later and I might be going to the gym. Um, so I was in my gym gear this morning and then I, it's just freezing today. It's really sunny outside but it's freezing in this flat. So I've got my massive hoodie on and I've also got jogging bottoms on on top of my leggings because <laughs> I was just so cold. Sometimes wish I never been born at all. Gotta get out, just gotta get right out of here. Back 
from the gym, so I'm going to get into my pyjamas but once I've had a shower, bleh, feel sweaty. But I kind of like feeling sweaty because I've been to the gym, not because <laughs> I've just like walked somewhere and I've just got really unfit. <laughs> so yeah, gonna have a nice shower. It was quite a good lecture as well. Um, it was about the essay, even though I finished the essay, but it's just like reassuring. <laughs> Friday and my tutorial was cancelled because my tutor is not very well at the moment so I'm kind of very relieved about that because I kind of had a new outfit to show but also didn't and I was just gonna like make constantly this weekend to really push out some new stuff but the last thing you probably saw me do was making a jacket when was I doing that? That was like Monday or something. I don't remember, but I'll show you that. So I finished the jacket. Um, it's just like a blazer style. And then the past few days I've been working on a pair of trousers. Trousers are such tricky things because they can look so good once they're good, but the block that we have to use from our uni is not great. And um, it's just such a weird fit. Block is basically like a pattern that everyone starts from. So you have all the um, grain lines even and everything matches up and then you can just go from there. Um, the R one is not very good. Um, even when you make up the block just as the block, it's like you've got some weird bulge at the front and it's not flattering. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not finished making these because they need like the little fastenings and stuff, but they are some little riding trousers. I've got the sort of riding seam through them and then I'm trying to figure out how to do the cuff at the bottom right now because that is proving a little bit difficult. Yeah, I'm going to finish these this morning um, and then I'm going to make the cape and shirt this weekend. Hopefully make the cape today. I need to pattern cut that. And then, yeah. So that is what I've been working on. Um, I think also I was looking back through footage of this vlog and I also made a dress. That was the disastrous dress, the one I was complaining about, and then I actually just made it and it didn't look that bad. <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna use that one in my collection. It was the one with the bib. I'm not sure about it. Um, so I'm gonna develop that one at some point as well. Um, and then I'm used to make a whole other outfit and a coat for next week. I knew third year was gonna be hard, but I didn't realize how tedious it might be. 
it's not tedious, I really enjoy doing this stuff, but it's just when you're constantly making twirls and twirls, especially working in calico, not the most exciting. I'm really hoping my fabric arrives today that I'm making a dress in, because that would be great. And if it does arrive today, then I'll probably put the cape and everything on hold and make that dress um, because we need to have like one outfit for poster shoot for the show. I also need to go into town because these glasses keep like creeping down my nose when I work and then I'm like, hello. <laughs> right now I'm going, I'm really hungry. I might have another snack and then I'm going to finish off these trousers and go into town. I'm literally the worst vlogger in the world. <laughs> Haven't filmed anything today. Half 11 in the evening. Just finished pattern cutting for the evening and I'm gonna go to bed. Today hasn't been the most productive day. I finished my trousers. I've only just cut my cape out and I should have made it. But I'll just have to get it done tomorrow. And then make another coat. And then make another outfit. I did go and get my glasses fixed though. And these ones. No longer gig gig gig. <laughs> These ones no longer hurt my head anymore. So happy because I really love these glasses. But they used to dig in behind my ear and it would give me a headache within like 20 minutes. So, yay, so happy they're fixed. For now, I'm gonna get into bed. I think my fabric's arrived. <laughs> it just doesn't look like 10 meters of fabric, so that's. The only thing I was a bit mm, about. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. Yes. <laughs> Basically, I always knew I wanted to have a really nice ditzy floral with my final collection. And I literally couldn't find one anywhere, so I designed my own. And it's been quite a long process of getting it just right. Um, I think I've asked for samples like three times from the company. And the company do it perfectly, but it's just the colours are always a bit off or something's not right. But now, it's perfect. <laughs> and I'm so excited, I have 10 metres here. So this is my floral fabric. <gasps> I love it. It's in just a really nice kind of slightly stiff cotton oh I'm so happy so I need to have some breakfast now and then I'm gonna try and make that cape that I was pattern cutting last night and then I'm gonna make this dress this is how excited I get from fabric it's really sad but yeah I'm so happy this has arrived I'm gonna text my mum <laughs> just finished getting ready to go out for dinner um, and this is what I'm wearing it's very weather appropriate it's literally just black grey and black <laughs> I've got on these high-waisted jeans from Zara they have a little split in the knee which I don't love because I have quite like fatty knees <laughs> if that makes sense and sometimes when I close it like a little bit my knee gets stuck in it let me know if I'm the only one that thinks weird stuff like that about their knees. <laughs> and then this jumper is a solid favourite of mine. This was from h and I'm not sure if they still do it. I wish they did, because I would literally buy another one. Um, so cosy. And then my boots are quite old. They're from Pull and Bear. And then jacket is F and F Tesco. Amazingly, such a good find in Tesco one day. And then this little bag from ASOS which I need to put my stuff in and that's what I'm wearing tonight I managed to get everything cut out in my fabric which is good so that means either this evening or tomorrow I can start making that I've also got to do the bias binding first 
because this is a toile and it has lots of piping on it and I'm also gonna actually pipe some of the seams that I didn't pipe because I think they'd look better piped. Um, this one's piped up here so I've got to do my bias and piping session <laughs> um, to do that and I'm also gonna pipe this seam that runs all the way down the skirt as well so I'm gonna need quite a lot of that. Amber picked up some more um, piping cord for me the other day and I literally asked her for 30 meters and she was like what <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah shouldn't be running out of piping cord anytime soon so I might end this vlog here because it's gone on for quite some time now um and in the next vlog you can look forward to me making the dress and see what it looks like in final fabrics um and then I'll probably be making a blazer somewhere over there and trousers and dress and top in final fabric next week, hopefully, fingers crossed. I've also got lots of twirls still to do, so we'll see. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like if you liked it, and leave a comment if you want. I try my hardest to reply to as many as I can. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.